nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, it's actually a pretty interesting day because there's a number of interesting things that transpired. The first one being a very important announcement that was made today. It gives us a brief view as to when we can expect the iPhone 15 or the Apple Watch Series 9 or the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And on top of that, we got our regular software updates. So watchOS, iOS, and beyond. And I'm going to be showing you most of those here on the channel. If we go into our settings here and go to general and go to software update, you can see we have watchOS 10 beta 8. And this update for me on my Apple Watch Ultra, it actually comes in at exactly 216 megabytes on our iphone here if we go into the apple watch application go to settings and then go the way it says general you'll be able to see the storage section here watch os 10 beta 8 the actual download file size is about 482.5 megabytes so if we go to the apple developer page right here you can see some other updates that were released today and here ios 17 alongside ipad os 17 beta 8 released today to developers unfortunately there is no mac os 14 beta 7 it seems like mac os 14 is going to be delayed when ios and watch os 10 come out but you can see here watch os 10 beta 8 of course it came out today this video that i'm doing is specifically for watch os and you can see we got tv os 17 beta 8 now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at halfman half tech so if you want to get to learn more and get to know your devices and these softwares are better then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now let me let my watch do its thing and then we'll look at what's new within the update go into settings and then go to about you see the new build number that we have that has made a big and substantial jump so it's watchOS version 10 and the build number is 21R5355A. So this build number finally has an A at the end. And typically with beta updates, we usually get an A before we get the release candidate or the RC version. So this definitely does bring us a step closer to the official release. Now, after updating my device, I tested this and uh, I tested the major new features that I hear, like the new widgets that I hear with this watchOS update and also just general application functionality. And I can for certainty say that this update is polished and it feels way smoother compared to the others that we had before coming from beta 7 and this beta 8 is a step ahead now also another thing i wanted to highlight for you here if you use the health app and it's linked to your apple watch application or apple watch device you can open up your health app and the first thing you will notice is that we have a new pop-up screen and it basically tells you all about improved health and then examples of data and uh, collections that are taken so once you're done just click whichever option works for you and then if you go to the sharing section there's also this screen that seems to have been updated as well and if you go to where it says browse and go to where it says mental well-being and go down a little bit you see that this section has been updated as well the screen and the labels that we have to have been updated and then if you decide to take a question you can do that and if you go to where it says get started there's this pop-up screen that you know tells you about your mental health and well-being and then you can continue to log in an emotion and click next and the neutral colors have also been polished once again this is for the third time how they are changing this and you can always edit this but just minor ui changes to this apple is trying to make it more user friendly but other than that the other general function of this device are working as intended one such update that i like with this update is the weather app i like how they've made it more similar to the ios version and after updating to this there seems to be an issue where siri you know i have about uh, half 
half of my arm uh, you know about half an arm's length away from my watch but it still seems to detect siri whenever i raise my device so that seems to be quite annoying maybe i'll be able to tweak a few settings and disable that but other than that overall watch functionality is good if i was to show you just my battery health overall i've had this device just to do better testing so if we go into the battery section right here and go to where it says battery health you can see battery health maximum capacity on 100 so no change up to now this is a good thing when it comes to this update and if we go back and just look at some other watch faces how long they take to load you can see it's instant and this is the first time that i'm actually changing watch faces for now we'll try this one and you can see the cloud coverage also is depicted on this section now other than that this update seems to be good and polished there is something like i mentioned at the start of this video that i would like to show you and that is this that you see here so if you go and search up apple events on google or go to the apple page and go to the events subsection you come up to this page and you can see here we have an apple event that has been given the date and you can see this is going to be next month on the 12th so september 12 2023 at 10 a.m pacific time that is when the apple event is going to be held and this event is going to be for the latest iphones and apple watch so this is when the iphone 15 as well as the apple watch series 9 and the apple watch uh, ultra to the second series of this apple watch are going to be announced i might do a live coverage depending on um, convenience and if i have the time but you can see here the biggest thing that are rumored to be coming to these devices was specifically to the iPhone and perhaps new AirPods that are going to be announced are USB-C connection interfaces, which is a good thing. And um, in case we you are wondering when this update is going to be coming out in terms of watchOS, expect the next update, which most likely might be a beta 9 or an RC. Sometimes we get an RC1 or RC2. Expect that next week, most likely on September 5th. And then the final RC will be expected on September 12th. And usually for the final release, it's on the following week. That's when we get the final, but I'll keep updating you as soon as I know more. But other than that, that's how this update has been for me. Very minor changes. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some killage vanilla. Don't spill the conscious, steal the keys. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitaire, they sick and tired of waving, seated like the navy. We don't like to try to split conversations, flipping on the Bible page.